Newton's third law of motion. Objective to learn Newton's third law of motion. Motion is the change in an object's position. Sir Isaac Newton, an English scientist, proposed three laws of motion that help us understand how objects behave when they are at rest or when they move or when force acts on them. For this session, our focus will be on Newton's third law of motion. Newton's third law states that for every force, there will always be an equal and opposite force. What that means is that when one object exerts a force on a second object, the second object will exert an equal and opposite force back against the first one. Let's look at this law in action so that we can better understand it. Let's consider two tennis balls sitting on the table. One ball on one end of the table and the other one at the other end. If you and your friend use the exact same amount of force and push both balls towards one another, they will roll across the table, striking one another. After they collide, the balls will bounce off one another and move in opposite directions with the same speed. We can also see the third law in action. If we were to throw one of these balls against a wall, the ball will exert a force on the wall and the wall will also exert an equal force against the ball. A familiar example of Newton's third law can be seen in the takeoff of a rocket or a space shuttle. As it lifts off, the rocket engine expels gas at a high velocity towards the ground. The earth will exert an equal but opposite force on the gas and the rocket will accelerate into space, the opposite direction of the expelled gases. The flight of birds across the sky and the rowing of a boat in a lake are all examples of Newton's third law of motion put into practice. Summary The third law of Newton states that for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction.